In this video, we visit a town where rush hours are non-existent. Where love of country still runs deep. With a world-class museum. Throw in an old western town. And happens to be the rodeo capital of the world. <laughs> Welcome to Cody, Wyoming. Hello everyone, today we are in the historic western town of Cody, Wyoming, founded by the famous Buffalo Bill yeah. Cody in 1896. Yeah, and this is a great town. It's only 52 miles away from Yellowstone National Park. Park's <laughs> east entrance. So it's really a great place to use as a base camp when you're in the general area. So we have really enjoyed our visit here. It has a small town feel to it where parking on Main Street is still available with plenty of shopping and great places to eat. And just as important, some great motorcycle rides, which we'll be sharing in upcoming videos. Here in Cody, there's a Buffalo Bill Center of the West Museum, which is an awesome place to visit. They're also the rodeo capital of the world where Clay and I attended our first <laughs> rodeo. And man, we had a great time. There is so much to share here. So we will have to break this trip up into two or three parts. So stay tuned. Yeah. As mentioned earlier, Cody, Wyoming was founded by Buffalo Bill Cody, who was a soldier in the Civil War. He hunted buffalo for the Kansas Pacific Railroad work crews, which earned his moniker as Buffalo Bill and his reputation as an expert shot. He was a scout for the U.S. Army, and he was a showman. In fact, in 1883, Cody created what would become Buffalo Bill's Wild West, a grand performance that propelled him to fortune and worldwide fame. The Wild West show was in one form or another for over 30 years, playing to enthusiastic crowds throughout the United States and Europe. By the end of his life, he had come to symbolize the American frontier itself. At one time, he was called the most famous American in the world. And now, to today's video of the Old Trail Town. All right, we're at the Old Trail Town. This is where Buffalo Bill laid out his original town site for Cody, Wyoming. But it was the Western historian Bob Edgar created what we now see. He realized that many of the old Western structures were being destroyed and disappearing from the landscape. He and his team actually decided to relocate these structures from their original location, many of them throughout Montana and other places in Wyoming, and to bring them here so he can preserve them. There's a lot to see here, so let's get started. Our first on the list is a cabin used by a couple of outlaws that we have all probably heard of. Here at the Old Town Trail is the original cabin of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and they're holding the wall game. It's pretty cool, let's take a look inside. Looks like they have some pretty good photos for these wanted posters. Now, I'm not sure if these represent how the actual posters looked in the late 1800s or early 1900s keeping in mind that Butch and Sundance were both killed in 1908. The Wild Bunch. Yeah, these guys were bank robbers and train robbers. So this is said to be their cabin. And I'm not sure if it was decorated like this, but the exhibit has done a really nice job to make it feel authentic. By the way, this cabin's an upgrade. I mean, it's got two rooms where most that I've seen and will see are just one room cabins. That's the same style hat that Sundance wore. A couple of old saddles. Okay, let's walk to some others. I'm just walking down here to show you how small the living quarters appear to have been back in the Old West. And this one reads, Curly's Cabin. This was the log cabin home of Custer's Crow Indian Scout Curly. Curly escaped the Battle of Little Bighorn on June 25th, 1876. Wow, you know, I'm actually here on June 25th, 2022. The Battle of Little Bighorn was 146 years ago today. Let's go inside. Here's some photos of Curly displayed along with Custer. Again, just a reminder of how simple living conditions were back in the day for so many. 
no indoor plumbing, no running water, just a one cabin room. But that coat sure looks warm. Man, I just love the backdrop that this old town is in. Look at those beautiful mountains up there. And this is the cabin of Jim White, who was a prolific buffalo hunter. Again, just a one room cabin. And it's decorated about the way I would picture a big game hunter's cabin back in the day. This is called the Coffin School. It gets its name from a teacher who died inside of this room after getting gangrene from a cut he suffered while cutting wood. Man, look how small the classroom is. And look how well they've kept it. This cabin is the Shell Store, built in 1892. I'm sure that goods and stores like these were in high demand in these little towns. Wow, just look at that. Just like some ladies' boots from the era. Some men's shoes. And dishes. Now wonder how old that cash register is. Back to the cabins in just a minute, but I want to show you some folks who are buried out here. This is the grave site of John Jeremiah Liver Eating Johnson, who died in 1900. By the way, if you remember, his life was portrayed in a 1972 movie starring Robert Redford called Jeremiah Johnson. And there are many rumors and legends about this guy, including how he got his name Liver Eating Johnson. His wife was a member of the Flathead Indian tribe, and she was killed by Crow Indians. And Johnson supposedly exacted his revenge by killing as many Crow Indians as possible, and then he would eat their liver. I will tell you that most discount that story, and they say he never ate anyone's liver. Johnson actually died in a home for veterans in 1900, and it said that his last wish was to be buried here in the great Northwest. And thanks to Bob Edgar and an elementary class who petitioned the LA Veterans Cemetery, Johnson's wish was granted some 74 years after his death when his remains were returned and buried here in Cody, Wyoming in 1974. And Robert Redford, well, he was a pallbearer during the reburial ceremony. They do have some other notables buried out here, like Jim White, whose cabin you saw earlier, uh, and others with interesting stories, but none that I recognize. So let's check out a few more cabins. They had cabins that were saloons back in the 1800s, like this one here. It's the Rivers Saloon. It's definitely larger than the cabins used for homes. <laughs> and it looks like it could have been a saloon back in the day for sure. This is another homestead cabin built around 1900. We're inside the wagon bar now. It's filled with some beautiful carriages from the old western days. They have several rooms here filled with clothing and guns from the era, including this horse-drawn hearse, a Lewis and Clark era canoe, and many other artifacts from the Old West.
I have to tell you, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed visiting that old town. And I think it's super that Cody is working on preserving the Old West, if yeah. you will, through that old town. Yep, that looked like a lot of fun. Yeah. So to see more videos, click one of those on your screen. Hope to see you there. Until then, be, be well, well and stay, stay safe. safe.